<clears throat> Welcome to my channel. Oh yeah, so it's Sunday after the Monday that was that I planted these out to test, see how they go. And I am very happy to say they're putting on some new growth and they seem to be quite happy there. Um, I'm actually thinking now I'm going to maybe leave these in here. Um, seems they seem to be doing all right. Um, I have also decided that I'm going to go and get a, a fan heater um, for this conservatory greenhouse. You call it a conservatory uh, for this greenhouse. So I'm just going to plant out the plants that I've got um, that I've started off in the house and stuff, um, and get them started. Uh, I'm going on holiday in a week, so I could do with them being in here, so they're not in the house drying out. Um, I'll just talk to you through a few of the things that's in here. So I've got all my sunflowers here. Um, now I love sunflowers, I love to dot them around the garden um, and these are some black sunflowers um, that I've planted, I don't think I'll need this many, I didn't expect them all to come off um, but they did. Um, here I've got some nigellas, uh, these are gay feathers um, for the garden as well. Um, now here's an interesting thing, these are a mixture of different things, so they're loofah sponges, gourds, um, there's a stray tomato there that's poking up um, and um, pumpkins and these are the same a uh, bit of a mix and these are cucamelons um, i'm going to try and some aubergines now these were all started under grow lights and then put into a window as soon as they sprouted now what's interesting is that these here are obviously ones that were started at exactly the same time as these ones that are in a bigger pot now i know it goes without saying that if you put it in a bigger pot it's going to get bigger but it's only been about four weeks so four weeks since they sprouted and these ones were started under grow lights and then put in a window then these ones were started under grow lights and put in a window but in a bigger pot and you can see there's much more vigorous growth um, these are the same um, obviously they're different things so that's a pumpkin this one is a, um, a courgette um, this one is a turks turban gourd now here's the interesting thing i left some of them under the grow lights and i thought they were going to go really well but look, they're extremely poor. Um, they actually flowered straight away. Um, so I've had to chop the flowers off and I think I'm just going to bin these um, because they're just pathetic. But then in the previous video, I said I've got some sweet peas that have been under there for about a week. And look at them. They absolutely love the... Uh, they absolutely love under the lights. These ones do. And if you compare them to the sweet peas... Oh, I've got a bloody greenish door open. If you compare these to the sweet peas here... That have been started since October. Look at the difference in growth in them. Incredible. Um, so yeah, it goes to show that sometimes some stuff under grow lights does really well and some stuff does pathetic. Um, but then on the flip side, here's some tomatoes um, that I started under the grow light just a week ago. And look at them. Um, some red cherry tomatoes there. So yeah, right, I'm going to start putting these on anyway and um, I'm going to get them into all the buckets. So yeah, let's get on with that. Okay, so I've got them spaced out now. So I've got a, uh, a red pear tomato, uh, San Marino is it? Uh, tomato, beef tomato, uh, cucumber, uh, cantaloupe melon, a loofah sponge, black betty courgette, um, a Ten Commandments gourd, and with this one it's going to trail down I think, um, a Turk's turban gourd and a pumpkin. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm going to space them out, I think. Um, the thinking behind it is, this end's going to be the ones with the big, big leaves that are going to block the light. So the sun comes from here and over. So these are going to be able to catch plenty and it's not going to block any light because it's just the shed there. So that should be fine. And then the tomatoes, I can hopefully keep slightly thinned out um, to allow some light through to these um, <coughs> these shelves here that I'll have like little pot plants on and things. So yeah, let's give that a go and uh, get them in the pots now, get them into the buckets. There we go, all in now. Oh, 
that's good. So now we'll see how many die when the uh, first hard frost comes and the fan heater I'm going to put in here doesn't manage to keep up with itself. So we shall see, we shall see. Now I'm just going to pot on all these um, spare ones that I've planted into bigger pots now. And these are going to go on the shelves. Um, I'm going to put some in the house and some on the shelves just as backups. So in case anything does die, I'm going to have at least two replacements to replace any one that does die. So yeah, there we go.